I have an iPhone, I have a Canon R5, I have a um, digital Hasselblad, I have a Hasselblad shooting film, I have a bunch of other cameras. I love cameras, I love shooting with different cameras, it all depending on the story you want to tell. Some is with flash, some is just a, with a large equipment, some with a much smaller, some with a fast equipment, some with a uh, slow equipment. But in the end, it's all depending on, on how you work. So find the best camera for you that suits you. Uh, if you're shooting documentary and you, you don't have a lot of money and you want to start out well, I would just recommend small camera and a FX35 or FX28, something like that. Keep it simple and then start, start using it because the best camera is always the one you have in your hand. Using the right lens is super important because you might get a close distance with a long lens, like a 100 millimeter, 200 millimeter, but that's kind of the beauty of photography. It reveals you. So if you're shooting in a distance, it will feel distant. If you're shooting close up, it will feel like you're close. I often use just a 28 millimeter, 35, 50. Um, that's, that's the lenses I use to motion documentary photography. I, my, you know, I have a bag full of lenses, full of cameras, different brands, a lot of things. I love to play with it as well. But in the end, at 28, 35, 50, and for portraits, 85, 100. You know, that's the most natural looking, that's the, that's the lenses I just keep going back to. And then a lot of them, because I drop them on the floor, they get smashed, they get rained, they get sand, they get beaten up. So oh, not only one.